Hello, so here's a little Tyrion here. And she, that's right, it's a she, just did a beautiful shed. And right after they shed, they're usually starving. And my cat says hi. Hold on, move your heat light here. She's right in prime position here. They're um, they're starving, and I just got my shipment of small mice in. I don't know what my cat wants, so I'm gonna see how she does with a small mouse. with a small mouse. Let's see if she'll strike it. Oh, good start, buddy. Good start. What? I hear you. I don't know what you want. You were fed. We went out. Mm -hmm. You got your meds. You really did, yeah? What do you need? Oh, oh you want to go upstairs? Okay. All right, well, you can wait for a minute because i got to see what Tyrion does. Or not tonight. Well, tonight is also going to be cold as well, but last night was the first cold night um, of the season. It went from 80 degrees to like 40 degrees in like two days. Um, I'm not talking to you, babe. But the house significantly cooled down. Um, Tyrion has heat light and everything, but it might make them a little slower because, you know, the overall temp might have gone down, especially in the non-heated portions of the tank. She is moving her jaw here, though. She's just not getting much traction. Hopefully the downsize will help. All I see so far is just these tiny minor adjustments. Maybe she's just surprised that it's fitting already. Yeah, you went from the right the right end, sweetheart. You haven't made much progress, though. I hear you. Yes, I hear you. There we go. It's a little more normal. She's doing the same thing she did before, where she kinks her neck up like that. And will you please stop? I'll be there in a minute. She kinks, she kinks her neck like that, and then the mouse isn't going to fit in it. Um, so she's going to have to straighten out. Tyrion is about four years old, um, at least that's what I was told by her former owner. I was also told that she was a boy though, and she was probed at the vet, um, and is in fact female. Honestly, she acts younger. Um, she really seems to have no feeding skills. Which is, you know, an inexperienced thing. Yeah, 
There you go, it's starting to pick it up, okay. So it can only go in as far as that little bend in her neck there. Like it's going, but it's about to stop if she doesn't turn around. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stretch that neck a little bit, sweetheart. She definitely got around the front feet a lot better. Um, so I'd say this is a, this is the perfect size for her. We were doing medium mice, um, and as you can see in her previous feedings, sometimes it really didn't go so well. Um, partly, it seems like she's just inexperienced, and she would go from the back of the mouse, which made it kind of go against the grain. Um, Whereas, shh, when you go from the front of the mouse, the legs fold down, it's a lot easier to get down their throat, and with no hands, you know, that's important. They can do it both ways, but eating it from the front, there we go, you gotta unravel. Eating it from the front definitely probably feels better for them, and it's certainly a lot less work. My 18-year-old snake, Arya, she downs it, you know, very quickly, and much larger mice. Tyrion is less experienced, smaller as well. Uh, so I decided to go from medium to small mice. And whether or not that head strike today was a, a fluke or not, shh. He doesn't need me to do anything for him. He's just trying to sound pathetic. I've done everything I can possibly do for this cat today. So please forgive my harshness, but I'm just... I'm out of options. I don't know what he wants here. I'm going to go f figure that out in a minute, but yeah, so this, this size is going down very, very well. Let me just see if I can get it from the top. There we go. Yeah. I'll be right there. You can really see where those jaw bones are working. The little triangle. On her head. The jaw bones don't detach, but they can stretch quite wide. So that they can get that snake in there. And then the skin stretches as well. so they could swallow that whole lump. Yeah. You are really agitated today. Yeah. I hear you, can you wait please? I'm doing something. Tyrion is a gray banded king snake. Do you hear how he talks every time I talk? This is what it's like all day with a communicative cat. Yeah, I hear you. You gotta be careful. <laughs> I taught him the skills to communicate, and boy, does he use it. Yeah, I hear ya. There is no emergency happening. Oh my gosh. So just like that, she's in up to the tail, pretty much. She's got to figure out that, um, you know, that... Oh, she's got to figure out that bend in the neck thing. Cause you can see how she's almost, you know, got it kinked to the point where she can't get it down again. I'm going to count how many times you've interrupted me, Zave. 
Leave a comment down below. How many times has my cat interrupted me today? And he just left. My goodness. I think he wanted me to carry him up the stairs. I, I can't go do that every time. <laughs> he's not... Like, he's old, but he's perfectly capable. He... Alright, but now Tyrion's got her neck stretched out enough that the mouse can go down comfortably. I'm sure she'll straighten out even more when she's um, swallowing it completely. Still got some little mouse spaghetti sticking out. Yep. You know you still got tail in your in your face there, little girl. So you, you got to swallow the rest of it. <laughs> you'll see that bulge go down. I love this little stripe right up on the top there. She doesn't have that in her pattern anywhere else. You really are beautiful. So now as her jaw doesn't have to do quite as much work. You can see the undulation of the skin as it starts to go down her digestive tract. Tract. It's still got some, some mouse tail out. Hello! She's very indifferent to me filming her and moving the camera around her. So she's, she's definitely gotten less timid. She used to be extremely fearful of everything, uh, but now I can move around her, make some sound around her. I mean, they don't hear very well. Their ears are all internal, but um, she doesn't freak out as much. I, you know, I go slow and I try not to spook her, but she's doing well. She's making progress, so she is capable of some kind of learning and adapting. We'll keep with these small mice. We'll see um, if it gives her any experience, you know, in, in eating a little more properly. That's not poop in her water, it's a reflection. Yeah. Where'd the mouse go? <laughs> Part of it's still sticking out, sweetheart. You're silly. All right, so small mice, success. I think that's the size that I'll, um, well, let's see, I have about a hundred of them, so I've got to do that. I can always give her two if she gets uh, way bigger, but they'll be good for now. Thanks for watching.